Word up, food tubers. So here I am on a beautiful hot summer's day. We have a fire down here, and I'm gonna do a gorgeous dish. It's like my big fat Greek Italian wedding on a plate. Barbecued lamb with fantastic sweet and sour roast vegetables. You're gonna love it. Go to your butchers, ask for the longest lamb chops you can get, as long as possible until they get to that little ball joint here. I'm doing a little rub for my lamb. Chilies there, coriander seeds. We're gonna go in heavy on the black pepper, heavy on the mold and sea salt, flowering oregano, new growth bay, and I'm just gonna pound the hell out of it. We're gonna just sprinkle this over, rub it all in. I wanna add just a little bit of oil there. Now, come on, brothers and sisters, look at that. That is a lamb chop. I'm gonna throw that on the grill right now. You can use charcoal if you want. I tend these days just to light a wood fire. We're cooking it through, we're making it gnarly. The fat's dripping away. It's kind of getting smoked as well. It all looks very good. Can you see all that fat sizzling on there? So, over to the wood oven. What I want to show you guys is simple roasted carrots with some onions. Cook it at about 200 degrees Celsius with the tin foil over it until soft. Got smoke in my face. Excuse the tears. Look at our lovely crew here. I'm gonna add loads of bay leaves. I am gonna hit it up with some honey. This is where our kind of Greek element starts to sit in. And some orange. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And some vinegar. I want you to put four tablespoons in. A nice big handful of pistachios, okay? This is kind of a little homage to our Greek brothers and sisters. And we're gonna roast this up until all the carrots and onions are gorgeous and roasted. This goes back in the oven. Come on, this is what we're talking about. I'm really pleased with what we've done here now, guys. The biggest kind of lesson to be learned about barbecuing is just care with a cut of meat. Is it a fast cooking cut or is it a slow cooking cut of meat? This is actually both. You've got the eye meat here, which is an equivalent of a sirloin, and then this part here next to the bone, which is the equivalent of like, you know, pork belly. Uh, you know, pork belly takes hours to cook sirloins take minutes to cook. So what I'm doing is I'm controlling the temperature. Now, you've got just a few disparate sort of uh, bits of charcoal here, um, so I don't overcook the eye meat. And then at the other side, it's just piled up higher. And of course, I can just move it around and control that. If you love barbecue, catch up with my mate, DJ Barbecue Shimon. You are gonna love him. Another little tip here as well. If you've got a pork chop or a lamb chop, obviously we wanna get that fat kind of rendering. And, and kind of cooking away. So just see how I've just racked them up here so it's fat facing down, okay? And then what you do is you just then toss it the other way. Oh, that rub is gorgeous. See that fat dance in there? That's what we want. We want to carry on cooking this now. There's one last part of this meal that I want to bring to the fray, and that's uh, bulgur wheat here. It's just been boiled. Lemon and olive oil, uh, a little pinch of salt and pepper. It's very simple. I've trashed the tin, but look at that. You can hear it, it's gorgeous, glaze, sweet, sticky. It's gonna be awesome. So let's plate up, guys. We're taking lamb to another level. Such a pleasure. A little yogurt, so good with that bulgur. And then just a little bit of feta cheese. Remember, this is a Greek-Italian love fest. And then the only thing to do now uh, is just chop up some parsley. There you go, brothers and sisters. Let's portion a little bit up. Oh, oh, rub, amazing texture. Mm. It just goes to prove that that heat control, which is in your hands, is absolutely doable. Viva the bone and viva food tube. Thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, guys, please share it on your social media. We want to get as many subscribers on FoodTube as possible because we believe it's the future.